Hi there, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. In this short tutorial, I want to show you how you can create your own mock-up template. So let's say you have this image and you want to replace the cover of the book that the lady is looking at. Now, a very simple way to do this is go under your toolbar and then you want to go to where you have your crop tool and you want to choose prospective crop tool. Now, you want to go ahead and just trace around the cover of your book zoom in and then move the points so that they all line up. You want to go up to your top menu and click on the checkbox. It will open the cover book in another window. Now here, all you need to do is hold down Command A to make a selection if you are on the Mac. If you are on the Windows, it's Control A. Now you want to go ahead and hold Command C to make a copy and you want to go ahead and click command D twice to take you back to your original image. So command Z one and two, and it will bring you back to the main image. Now you want to paste. So command V to paste it, convert this layer into a smart object. So you want to right click and choose convert to a smart object. Click on our image, go to edit and choose transform and distort. Now we want to move these points back on the same point of the cover of this book and we are just going to set that in place like that. Go back and click on the check to accept it. For you to replace the image, you need to double click on the layer which will activate the smart object. Now you can go in and bring in any image you want to place in. So I'm going to drag this book cover that I did for a client and I'm just going to go ahead and scale it like that. Typically, I don't stretch images and you shouldn't do that. But for the purpose of what I'm doing, I'm just going to stretch it just so it fits like that. And I'm going to double click to accept. Now, once you have your image in place, all you need to do is save your smart object file. So go to file hit save. Once you have it saved, if you go back to your image, you see that it has replaced it for you. Now, I want to show you what else you can do if you have the same image, but thumb of person holding it interfering with the cover. So as you can see with this, if we want to reveal the thumb, all we need to do is that we want to go ahead and reduce this image so we can basically see the thumb. And we want to go ahead and add a layer max. Now pick up your, um, your marquee tool. You can zoom in. And all we are going to do is that we want to go ahead and trace around the thumb. And you can also use your pen tool to do the same thing. So once you have your selection, you want to pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. Black hides white reveals. And you want to go ahead and paint command D to D select. You notice that there's a bit of a shadow here. So if I want to mimic it, all I have to do is just make a fake shadow like that tracing over this area. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer. I'm going to go ahead to increase this. And I'm going to pick up my bucket and you want to make sure you're on the right layer. Fill this in, command D to D, select. So once you have this, you can go ahead and reduce the opacity a little, add a little bit of a blur effect. So go to filter, blur, gushing blur, and you want to go ahead and just reduce this so you can still see your shadow, but it's not too much. Go ahead and click OK. So you have a very realistic um, shadow being cast. So guys, this is very simple, but I felt the need to show you how to do this. And you can use the same technique if you have a side bind. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.